Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Today I'm checking out a new wireless microphone by Audio Array, the AMW11. It's a two transmitter single receiver model and is supposed to be very affordable. So let's check it out and see if it's worth the price and if it will give the more expensive models a run for their money. This is the AMW11 by Audio Array, a microphone kit that includes two wireless transmitters and one receiver. Omnidirectional pickup pattern, long distance transmission and clear sound. We will be testing these. Audio array branding on the side, quick specs on the back of the box. We have a manual within, quite informative. I love the hard case included. This will keep the microphones much safer. Opening it up, we have two wireless transmitters and one in the middle is the wireless receiver. Two wind muffs are provided. Here is a closer look. An assortment of cables can be found above. USB-A to triple USB-C charging cable. I like this, it has a decent length. A cable for the phone. Your phone should have a 3.5mm jack to be able to use it. Two lavalier microphones are included, one for each transmitter. Camera audio cable which is 3.5 to 3.5mm. Here's the transmitter. Two LEDs can be found on top to know the connection status and power. It has a built-in mic and a 3.5mm port to use the included lavalier mic or even your own. USB-C charging port can be found on the back. The transmitters both have the same design. Here's the receiver. We have the audio array logo on top, USB-C charging port on the back, output and headphone jack. Output would connect to your camera. The headphone jack is for the cameraman to monitor audio levels using a headphone connected separately. We have the plus and minus buttons to increase and decrease gain and a power button is present at the end. When powered on, we can see the small display here, which displays the receiver's battery level in the center. The transmitters are not yet connected, so we have the battery levels displayed as empty. Let me turn one of the transmitters on. It connects immediately. Here we are, we can see the battery level of the transmitter, connection status, and also the audio level, which is the small line under TX2. Turning on the other transmitter, it connects as TX1. We can change the gain on the receiver as per the audio levels. If it's peaking, we can reduce the gain. Here's how the transmitter looks as compared to the Rode Wireless Go. Similar in size, but the audio array has rounded edges and feels a bit lighter. Here's the power button. The Rode's button has a more rubberized feel. Here's the microphone, a 3.5mm jack, USB-C port. Quite similar except for the rounded edges. We have this clip which allows mounting the receiver onto a camera's hot shoe or even clip onto a shirt if using an external recorder. We can also charge the devices using a power bank using the USB-A to triple USB-C cable provided, making it easy to keep them charged up on the go. So when you have two wireless transmitters, you can conduct interviews more easily. So this is now transmitter 1, this is transmitter 2. Just give the transmitter 2 to the one being interviewed and you have one for yourself. So this is how the quality of the audio is between transmitter 1 and transmitter 2. So this is the gain set to the lowest and the volume goes down way low and uh, whenever you raise the gain on the PC, you get a lot of noise. So let's test it out. Testing 1, 2, 3, testing 1, 2, 3 at the lowest gain. I've set the gain a little higher. So this is one step above the lowest. So testing 1, 2, 3. This is the quality of the audio one notch above the lowest gain setting. So I have raised the gain now and now it's at uh, mid level. So testing 1, 2, 3. This is the audio quality at medium gain. I like it at this setting as the voice is clear and there's no noise. But there could be some because my Nikon Z6 is set at a lower input volume. Make sure to check the audio levels before recording. Now let's raise it to the highest. So this is the quality of the audio at the highest gain, testing 1, 2, 3 and my voice seems to be jarring a bit as my camera's input volume is set a bit low, it doesn't seem to distort much but some distortion is present. Let's check the quality of the audio as you get more distance between the transmitter and the receiver and um, as I keep walking that way, if it cuts out, we know when it's cut out because the audio will be recorded. So let's see, I'll start counting now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I think this should be far enough for anybody to record. And if the quality of the audio, if, and if it is still recording, it's pretty good. The audio gain is set to medium for this camera specifically, but if it was on the Nikon, it would have been set lower and uh, it sounds, it should be sounding pretty good. I was quite excited in trying out this microphone kit as it costs considerably lower than other brands and provides the same audio features. This audio is also being recorded using the audio array and I played with the gain a little so there is more depth in sound. And distance wise, it worked almost 200 feet away when in line of sight. Sound quality is really good. I did add an EQ and also noise reduction as my room is a bit noisy. I like the display on the receiver which displays the battery levels of the receiver and also the transmitters. We can also monitor the gain to set the cameras up for best quality. So how are you liking the audio quality at present? Does it sound good? Make sure to comment below. So that was the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.